What's up, everybody? It's Quizzy. I'm back today with another video, man. I feel great. I have my lemonade, and it's not from Taco Bell, so you can go to hell. My son in the background, he chilling. You see him back there? He always should look at him. Look at him trying to run away. I see you, AJ. We need to do some more videos. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we need to do some dope stuff. So this is me doing some dope stuff, man. We're gonna do 10 guilty teenage convicts uh, reacting to life sentences, all right? Now, that's fucked up one to even get a life sentence. Don't get me wrong. Some people definitely deserve that, but it's kind of fucked up. And when I was a teenager, I was thinking about girls, Pokemon, working out, uh, being one of the best music artists in the world. Just hit the like button to help me out, man. But either way it goes, man, I was thinking about other shit, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I understand, man. Some people might get involved with the wrong crowd, get involved with the wrong people. And now, you know what I'm saying? They end up, there you go. That's the result. I say, I look, I'm looking at this picture. It says 137 years. God damn. A wimbo way, a wimbo way, a wimbo it may be time to when you do something horrible alright man let's go let's get it really wrong you're punished uh, for it today we're going to be seeing criminals reacting to their life sentences this is an information video and I hope the audience can learn this boy he happy oh yeah I can't wait to go in a whole bunch of room with a whole bunch of niggas from these people's mistakes the first convict here we have is a male who has been sentenced to life in prison. When he hears his sentencing, Damn. he breaks down. The family who he caused pain to said this was their first step to healing. Let's see how this man reacts. He took her from me. She was beautiful. Her beauty was not just skin deep. She had a beautiful heart, mind, and soul. She was a little sister, a big sister, a niece, a cousin, granddaughter, and my daughter. The damn bro like imagine you up in court you gotta face the person that killed your daughter and you just gotta talk about it like you gotta plead to the to these people by putting him up about, about you know just for them to put him away you know judge sentenced smith riley to life in prison without parole for brooks and more time after that for martin and still more time for damn he, he fainted smith riley Collapse to the floor. He fainted. <laughs> Mandatory second underlying fences. All those cats are going to protect each other. I don't know what happened, but damn, bro, that's whew, that's a long time, bro. Jeez. Over a time served out of 349 days. The family say this was the first step toward healing. At 5:30 on local 12. We're gonna have more on what was said in court and an interview with Aaron, who still has dreams, even though he lives with an in- This teen was given life to prison without parole for the second time. I'm not sure how this is even possible, but it must be. This boy's reaction is a bit different than others in today's video. The boy laughs as he hears his sentence. No indication that this type of violent behavior will stop. Criminal history and odds of rehabilitation must be considered before life without parole is imposed. The court has significant doubts about Right, so what the fuck did this man do to get life without parole for the second damn time? Like, Jesus Christ. And they, they just said that they take in account of other stuff that he's done. So he must have done some pretty fucked up shit for them to get it. Now, I'm not going to play the black role. I'm not going to play the black role and say that he's innocent. Cause I don't know what the fuck these ki these kids did. I don't know what the fuck they did. So I'm not gonna sit here and do that. Shit. About the defendant's potential for rehabilitation. His mom said little when it was over. It's what the judge ordered, so that's what it is. It is what it is. But Lindsay actually grinned when the judge read his ruling. The lack of remorse not lost on David Crawford's daughter, Amanda. Justice was served, and I'm glad it's over. And it just kind of proves to me that. He's an animal as he sat there smiling. We have a boy here who started a fire which ended up ruining someone's life. This then led to him getting charged for life in prison and he regrets his mistake and you can tell by his emotions in this clip. Shows that there is something said significant uh, in the pension. And immediately started another fire in the living room. I agree with the family. I hope you prison as well. Damn, bro. 
He said, I judge, I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison. Damn, bro. Being a judge, like, see, the thing is, like, if you a judge, how the hell you gonna lose your cool like that? You know what I mean? Like, how you gonna fly off and lose your cool? I hope you die in jail, you fucking murderer. Like, you can't, like, you being a judge, if you gonna judge somebody fate and give them that much time, your, level, your head should be more level than that. Like, I'm not saying that judges aren't people too, but these judges, they be fucked up a lot of times. A lot of times they really be fucked up in the head. Like, you talking about the people's family, like I understand you kill somebody, you, if you kill somebody, the people's family gonna be mad. They gonna wanna see that person go away, period. Or it's not me taking up for him. I'm just saying people are gonna wanna see that person go away, period. If that was your people, and somebody killed your people, you was gonna wanna see whoever did it go away. So the judge can't just side with them just because of that. I don't know. I wanna see the whole court case because damn, it's just, he look like he pretty so up about it though. Like, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, the judge need to keep a level head to it if he gonna be a judge. Damn. Damn, bro. This man is not happy with the sentencing when he actually is just getting what he deserves. He gets sentenced and then he goes and smashes down the podium that he stood at speaking to the judge. Hey, look at the, the judge in the back. You, yeah. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? Man. And that was how the sentencing ended today, with Hoskins being rushed out of the room and both families erupting in yelling and screaming. We were the first to tell you last month when Hoskins. Hey, right, she said, "That's what I get." She said, right, "That's what you get." I hope you burn in hell, bro. Damn. He's pleaded guilty right in the middle of his trial. You may remember Mays, a mother of five, went missing last March. Today in court, before that outburst, Mays's mother and aunt had their chance to confront her. He tell me how I explain what what happened to their mom. First of all, I want you to stand there and look at me and quit standing there looking at the ceiling like a little coward. You know, I'm going to face you and I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel. This boy is torn and heartbroken for what he's done. He apologizes to the family he knows he belongs to be in prison and he's going to do the time that he deserves and he truly apologized to the family of the victim. I want to take the time off to apologize to the family and say I'm sorry for being wrong. Yeah, man. I, I mean, it take a big man to apologize, but at the same time, bro, you kind of got to be thinking like, are you apologizing because you don't want to get sentenced that long? That long? Are you playing the long game? Like, I, I know when it's time for another hearing, yeah, I can say, well, yeah, he did show remorse and apologize. I don't know. That's why I'm saying, like, if I was a family, I, I, I mean, I don't really want to hear it, though. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really want to hear it. Here we have a teen who is all dressed up in a suit trying to look his best for the court day. This doesn't help at all because he gets sentenced and he knows exactly what is coming for him because he doesn't flinch and just puts his head down in disappointment. The jury, having returned a verdict of guilty, murder in the first degree, on deliberate premeditation and extreme atrocity and cruelty, you will hearken to the sentence the court has awarded against you. Look at this, look at this ugly motherfucker in the background, bro. Who the fuck is you getting, best shiny head having ass, bro. Big Carl Winslow looking ass, boy. Big auntie built ass nigga, but he look like an auntie in the face, boy. Big, I'm the head butt champ face ass, boy. I'm finna get on your shit. It's been a minute since somebody got flamed. Now it's gonna be you, boy. Officer Davis looking ass, but I don't even know who the fuck Officer Davis is, but that's your ass, boy. Big pot belly having ass, boy. And that nigga about to pop. This nigga ate one or two or three, four, five or six, seven meals before he came to court this morning. Fuck it. You hear me? I'm just gonna put my belt around it. I ain't even gonna button the last button. You can't. That shit gonna pop, and it was gonna hit. It was gonna hit the defendant in the head, bro. And they was gonna charge your ass with manslaughter, stupid ass boy. No, they was gonna charge you with button slaughter, stupid ass. The court, having duly considered your offenses, it is hereby ordered that you be committed to the Department of Youth Services 
until the age of 21, and furthermore committed to the Massachusetts Correctional Institution at Cedar Junction for the period of not less than 25 years and not more than life. Damn. And that you stand committed in execution of this sentence. This lady seems to have said everything right to try and not get the life sentencing. But let's just say the judge does not care at all. They snap back and honestly made it sound like they were going to go easy on the girl. And then boom, they just say life sentencing just like parole. But I had to fight for my life just like I did on June 4th, 2008, because I realized how selfish it would be for me to escape accountability for this mess that I created. I have two brothers, two sisters. Several nieces and nephews, a mom, a dad, eight aunts, nine uncles, over 20 cousins. Okay, girl, like, bro, you, hey, bro, you, you, we get it. You got a big ass family, but did that stop what the fuck you did? That I've grown up with, as well as countless friends, all of whom would suffer greatly if I took my own life or if I allocuted and begged for the death penalty and then got it. The most important thing I want to say is that I am very sorry for the enormous pain that I've caused the people that love me. I'm horrified but she don't sound genuine y'all it, it's no point of writing that shit i don't think it's no point of writing a st uh, like a statement to present to them i think it's more like if you're gonna speak there and speak shit from the heart like don't like i don't you know don't write that shit because you sound like you're reading you don't even sound genuine because of what i did and i wish there was some way i could take it back court fines the defendant has no prior criminal history the defendant has family and community support the defendant has mental health issues. The court has also considered the defendant's childhood background. The court finds the mitigation presented is not sufficiently substantial to call for leniency and that a natural life sentence is appropriate. Woo! It is ordered. The defendant shall be incarcerated in the Department of Corrections for the rest of her natural life. This boy regrets it. I think she killed a, a baby. I think she killed a baby or her baby because it had a picture of the little girl everything that he's done to put him in this courtroom when he hears his sentencing he starts to break down just begins to cry and start trembling and get insanely mad there is nothing he can do as he's being held by the police officers damn bro he breaking down bro he, he, he don't want to go. 18 year old Fernando Salgado begs to get to go home. We now move into a man who was formerly a police officer who has done some very bad thing. Oh, well you was a police officer and they gonna send you to life? Life? They gonna fuck you up in there, bro. Damn, and the fucked up thing is they be having all the reasons why people be in jail. They had it. Inmates get access to that shit. I know if you was a police officer too, so too bro. Mm -mm. Leading to him being in court and having over five charges being held against him. When he hears the sentencing and what the judge is saying, he breaks down into tears as a full grown man who is just getting what he deserves. A section at punishment at eight years. Count two. Damn. Eight years on the first account. Not guilty of the crime of. Count three, burglary in the first degree. The defendant is not guilty of the crime of burglary in the first degree, nor lesser included. Count four, defendant is guilty of the crime of punishment is set at five years. Damn. He already got 13 years already. How, mu how much more? Count five. Defendant is guilty of the crime. Thirty-one. By instrumentation. Defendant is guilty of the crime of. Man, let us know what the fuck he did, bro. Shit, it's public record anyway. And punishment is set at twelve years. Damn. Count thirty-two. Damn, nigga. How much shit Defendant did you do? Mr. Holtzclaw, this jury finds you guilty of the various. Uh, counts you will be remanded to the custody of the oklahoma county sheriff for formal sentencing set january 21st 2016 at 10 o'clock a.m all right you have a seat the custody of the sheriff your excuse very sorry if you guys enjoyed today's video click on another video on the screen right now
This nigga said if you guys enjoyed today's video. I didn't enjoy none of that. This is horrible. Hey, bro, look, I, I don't know exactly why they went to jail. So, I, like I said, I'm not going to take up for none of them at all. P per period. I'm not going to take up for none of them. But, damn, it's hard watching people go to go to jail, bro, for the rest of their life. Like, just straight break in. Y'all, do me a favor, bro. Like the video if you like the video. If you want me to do more videos like this, let me know, man. What was the most fucked up part about this shit, bro? I, I honestly think... It was old boy when he smirked. Like he's just like, I don't give a fuck. I think it was his ass, bro, because that that's that that spells like a demon. That's like a demon. Alright, but let me know, man, what y'all think, bro. Alright, y'all. Peace.